Hello class, good evening. Can you guys listen to me, Julio and Heidi? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, how are yeah. you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks so much for asking. How are you doing? Ready for today's session? Yes, awesome. I think we are ready. Nice to hear that, okay. And what about you? How are you doing? Let's see, Heidi. Awesome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? <clears throat> Fine, teacher. And you? Doing good. Thanks so much for asking, okay. So let's see, we're gonna start today is a new topic and welcome guys. We, I don't know if you have already completed the exercises on the platform. Have you finished? The exercises because today is basically day one from week two <laughs> so that means that you need to finish uh if you haven't finished the exercises for the first two sections make sure to complete them today we're going to work on the um, present perfect continuous which is uh, still part of section number two so we are going to finish section number two today explanation and then it's up to you to continue, you know, practicing and also make sure you complete all these exercises failing on the platform. OK, so welcome. I really hope you have already finished. If you haven't finished yet, make sure to do it. OK, so welcome. I can see Blanca, Milton and Miguel. Welcome, guys. So thank you so much for being on time. It's mm -hmm. actually 801. So how was your day? Today, it was a good, it's a normal day, and normal day. with a, a lot of things to do, but finally, I'm here at home. <laughs> nice. Sound and safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Nice. nice. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. How about you, Miguel? How was your day? Um, so boring. <laughs> it was a boring day. Yeah, yeah all, day, all day in the week, uh, working mm -hmm. in my house. Oh, you work from it, home? Yes. Oh, I it, see. It's a little boring. I imagine. Yeah. You need to go out, you know, maybe go to, I don't know, to a park, to, an, to something different. I understand. I That was last year, 2020. I had to work from home. Like, I'm talking about uh, during the day, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm at home, but this is, you know, night shift. But I remember that I worked for almost a year from home, teaching like this methodology this way. And it's really, you know, even though it's an activity that I enjoy doing, but you know, it, it tends to be, you know, so repetitive. And yeah, I understand you need to you know, do activities that keep you moving or, you know, keep you energized. So I understand. Thank you so much for sharing. And what about you, Blanca? How was your day? Also, uh, I work in home too, and uh, I really tired because I start working in uh, seven and a half a.m. Uh -huh. and um, meetings for meetings for meetings and um, uh -huh. many stuff. Right, stuff meetings. Uh huh. I understand. Yeah. Well, that, that is. I don't boring. Uh -huh. I really yeah boring because no only in house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I really tired. Uh -huh. I feel. I think when uh, working house, uh, mm -hmm. I work more, more mm -hmm. hours, mm -hmm. more hours. It's a. Uh, and then, um, how do you say a mediodía? And no. uh, uh -huh. I uh, when I when I take my lunch, and take my lunch and run mm -hmm. and start again work, mm -hmm. and no rest. No rest in time. Oh, yes. I can see. So don't you have an schedule? I mean, a schedule so you can. Yes, but I I. I don't know. It's uh, I need uh, answer to my mails and 
I need, I don't, I don't know why. I, I feel I need to uh, work more. Mm -hmm. This feeling of working more, right? Uh, yes. Because it's when I work in, oh. in a house. Right. I understand that. Uh, so that was after the pandemic, or or you used to work like that since? Was this change due to the due to the pandemic, or was it like that? No, in pandemic. Okay. Yeah. You know, there and, are many things. Uh -huh. No, and the magnetic, and that always uh, work from home, but uh, the again adelante. How do you from, say the again uh, adelante? From now and on. Yeah. From now on. Okay. I see. Yeah. After the pandemic, everything has changed. There are many things that are now done, like online, virtually. And I understand that it has advantages, but it also has disadvantages, right? Working from home. Well, guys, I can see we're many now. I thank you so much for connecting. I see more people connected now. We are going to start. We have the two Miguel's already active, Lara and Ramirez. And I also see Gerardo. Welcome, Milton is there as well. Uh, Evie, Stina, uh, Nubia, Breeze, and Regina. Okay, so today we are, I was telling the ones who connected earlier that uh, I'm expecting. I really hope you guys have already finished all sections. I mean, section one and two, which belongs or which correspond to first week. So if you haven't done that, today I'm going to go over a new topic, which is on the platform, which is the present perfect continuous. Maybe mm -hmm. you have heard about this already. We are just going to review it. And please make sure you work on these two first sections. So you are set. And tomorrow we're going to start with section number three. Since we started our, our week on, I think it was on Wednesday. So basically yesterday we finished the week number one, supposedly, right? And we are starting uh, week number three, but since we haven't covered the topics corresponding to section number two, is that I'm going to work on section number two still and making sure I complete this last topic, which is present perfect continuous, okay? So welcome once again, and this is our, let me see, give me one second. Uh, before I display the, the content or before I go over the content, I would like to know if you guys have any questions about any specific exercise on the platform or is everything okay? No questions? For the moment, yes, please, teacher. Everything okay. All right, thank you so much. Is there anybody else? How do you say todo bien al momento? How do you say that in English? It's okay, teacher. In section one and two, it's, okay. it's good for me. All right, good. Nice. Thank you for confirming. I wanted to send you this, so far so good is the expression you can say, right? So far so good, which means no questions as of now until today. Okay, good, let's move on. Today's topic, uh, it could happen to you, present perfect continuous. <coughs> so what do you know about present perfect continuous? Uh, is there any idea or example you would like to share with me? Present perfect. Have you seen the video? Not yet? Not yet, only Not yet. the session five. On, okay. Today yeah. topics. All right, all right, I see. And um, well, present perfect continuous. How do we make present perfect continuous and when do we use it, okay? And first, what is the present perfect, not continuous? What is the structure, any idea? Present perfect is often the reason or case. Mm -hmm. And what about an example? Any example? 
maybe you know about this. Maybe the problem is that you don't know the name of this structure because I'm sure if I ask you, you might be able to respond. For example, uh, let me ask, uh, let's see, Blanca. This is present perfect, simple, simple. What have you done this week, Blanca? I'm sorry? What have you done this week? This week? Mm -hmm. um, this week, mm -hmm. um, work every day and maybe, uh, I'm sorry, I really don't understand is, si, si es el día o es o sea, la semana, pero ¿qué es lo que vas a hacer? Mm, well, the question is, is, is very close to what you're saying, is what have you done? What have you done this week? Today is Wednesday. What have you done? Creo que has hecho. Exactly. That's present perfect. That is present okay. perfect simple. And what about present perfect continuous? Lo que estoy haciendo. Um, very similar. Because what have you done is que has hecho. Finished. And finished. then not, not necessarily. And if I For say. For today. For today. As of today, yes, it can be an activity, but it, when we use the present perfect, the actions still impact the present. So we cannot say okay. that it's already over. But then if I say to you, uh, this is maybe for anybody who would like to answer. If I say, what have you done this week is different. If I say, what have you been doing? What oh. have you been doing? What is what have you been doing? I guess it's a symbol. Mm, ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Exactly. I have been. Is continuous. The, the answer is I have been uh, working. I have been uh, in my house, etc. Mm. Et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. So we have what have you been doing lately? What have you been doing? The action is present perfect but it's in a continuous you know form and that is today's topic okay, okay. And this, is, this is what we're gonna do we are going to listen to one conversation is on the platform but i want to play it because i want you to practice it okay now that you have the chance to practice with your peers we can take advantage of that and we can practice it i can see we are just we connected like 14 already so we can do that all right let me uh go ahead and and play this one. There are two conversations. <clears throat> First one, let me see. Hopefully it's going to. Hey, Bob, Hold how's on. it going? Hold on, this is not the one I want to play first. There are two conversations. I'm going to play the first one. First. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on a discussion box. Okay, now I don't know if you could listen to the, to the conversation. I want to go over this conversation. For the last six Hold months. On. Hold on. Okay, I want to go over this conversation. We have different topics here, different structures. Let's take a look at the first expression. Hold on. Let me see. I think something is wrong here let me stop sharing and i want to share my my powerpoint i think it's easier 
Okay, hopefully you guys are going to be able to see it. So take a look at this. Um, well, not that, not that good quality, I think it's just an image. So let's take a look at this one, uh, what it says, hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. So this one, it is a construction in present perfect simple. I haven't seen you in ages. It means for a long time, but then haven't seen. We are using the past participle of the verb, right? And we are using have because it's the, the subject I. What about if I wanna use a different subject? For example, she, what do I say? What do I say? What is the auxiliary that we use for third person? Has. Has. Thank you so has much. Been. So we say, uh, she hasn't seen me in ages. She hasn't seen somebody in ages. Okay. So we're good on that part. So make sure we are using the correct helping or auxiliary verb. And let's take a look at this one. This is the one that, I, that we want to focus on. Okay, let's see, Milton, can you please read this question? The one that I'm like uh, circling, this one. What have you been doing lately? What, uh, okay, what have you been doing lately? So that is the question. So if I ask you like your own answers, what would you say to me? Raise your hand to participate because I want to hear many ideas. What have you been doing lately? This is a general and open question. How do we respond? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Uh, nothing exciting. I I was painting all day, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you say I was painting all day. Uh, let's let's try to follow. I like the first one that, that you said nothing excited or exciting. But then um, you want to stick to the same formula. I've been, and then you say the ing form. So I've been painting, and then so that's the activity, that's the action. But then let's stick to the same structure that I'm I'm asking you. Okay. So let's not mix mix the tenses up because that might sound a little bit. Um, unclear for you know the person who's asking that question so what other possible responses can we can we give what have you been doing lately Ultimamente. okay what can be an answer for this on your own ideas okay. give me an answer please think about your life say hmm what about me? What have I been doing lately? I've been sleeping. <laughs> I've, been, I've been sleeping, okay. But this is like, okay, that's fine. But then let's think about um, longer term, like more time, maybe weeks, maybe um, <laughs> months, okay? You name it, okay? But then give me, think about this year. Breeze, go ahead, Breeze. Um. All the things exciting. I've been traveling around the world. You see, that's cool. <laughs> You're rich. <laughs> okay, nice. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, no. a, that's, that's a good example. So, what have you been doing? What have you? What have? What have you been doing lately? Okay, that's the question. And the structure is. We're gonna study the structure in a minute. So let's take a look at other one here. So um, it says, how come I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco? That's just only simple present, like present continuous, nothing here. And look at this other one. We have one more here that says, give me a second, right here. This one, I've, I've only been spending money. So what we need to pay attention to is the following guys. Ben is always there, it's mandatory, okay? And our verb must go in ing form. That is something that is a must do, okay? So we have have because it's I, and then we have been like 
because the formula re like requires it. And also the ING4. I've been spending or I've only been spending money in this, in this one. And then uh, before we start practicing, like taking turns, because that's what I want you to, I want you guys to do. I want you to give me more examples following the formula. I'm going to give you two minutes and maybe you want to write them down on your notebook or maybe on the chat. What have you been doing lately? Give me more, more examples. We are connected like 16. So I want to read at least or listen to at least 15 sentences. Go ahead, please. About your life. I want to ask you, when you provide your sentence, please try to expand on your answers, okay? Try to provide as many details as possible, okay? When you're ready to share, please raise your hand and go ahead, or if you have it on the chat, send it on the chat, please. Gerardo, thank you, Gerard, go ahead. Currently, I have been working late for the annual project. Okay, you have been working lately for the annual projects. Okay, nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's see, I think we have one. I've been studying English. Nice, Nubia. I'm glad to hear that. Studying is only one D. So thank you so much for, for saying that. Awesome, I like it. More examples, come on, more example. More example. For example, uh, where have you been driving today? Okay, say it again, please, uh, Miguel. Excuse me? Can you say it again? Can you uh, repeat it, please? Where have you been driving today? Where have you been driving today? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can, you can, that's a question, right? Where have you been driving? Where have oh, you okay. been driving? Uh -huh. uh, you can say, okay. I have been driving and then, you can say for how long or in which time frame you have, you know, been driving. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, you can say, I've been driving for two weeks uh, this month, for example. And the month Black hasn't City finished. For business. Uh-huh, okay. Yep. Well, what other examples do you have? Guys, more examples, please. Come on, go ahead. Examples, I want to... Read them. I want to listen to them. I have, I have been playing with my pets all day in the park. <laughs> I envy you. <laughs> Sounds like a nice activity. I see you are a pet lover. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay. The crazy dog. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Okay, we have this conversation here and I want you to practice it, but I have another question. What about if we change it? If we don't say, what have you been doing? What about if we change the subject? For example, what has your um, brother or sister or wife or husband been doing? So what can you tell me now? Uh, example. And third person. Exactly. Uh -huh. Give me an example, an answer. My daughter has been studying a study all, all, all day because the next week have example, exams. Okay, my daughter has been studying because next week she has exams or midterms. Okay, nice. I like it. Good. Give me more examples. Uh -huh. It has been playing video game for a long time. Exactly. I like it. That's really good. Uh, <coughs> I've been working. You're missing I've, Breeze. I've been working. I've. 
So give me more examples. One more or two more, please. Are we having dinner? Are we having dinner? Oh, that, that sounds like a, a present continuous question. Are we having dinner? Or, yeah, that one is present continuous. If we need to use have, for example, um, have we been going out to, to have, I don't know, to eat? I don't know, something like that. So the purpose is to use the have and the, and the present continuous, but we need to say, uh, have we been going? Have we uh, been playing? So that is the structure we need to use. Okay, mm -hmm. she has been waiting for the doctor all day. I like that one, Ivis. That's a good one. Okay, I can see some of them. Now, guys, do me a favor. Screenshot this exercise, I mean, this conversation, because I'm going to give you some time because I want you to practice it, okay? Um, so a screenshot. My dog has been cooking in the garden. Yeah, your dog. Okay. You, you say your dog has been cooking in the garden. Okay. Thank you so much. What about, okay, screenshot this because I'm going to give you some time for you to practice, okay? So maybe two or three minutes. And exchange roles. One is going to be Gina, one is going to be uh, Pitt, and so on. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of the time, okay? Here we go. Let's see, we are 17, so that tells me that I can make, if by any case you have no partner on your room, come back to the main room. I'm going to be here so we can practice, okay? But I want you to practice as much as you can. Okay, here we go. Hello guys, hello guys, practice, please practice. Okay, teacher. Practice, please. <clears throat> Bea, did you practice at least once? I guess I practiced with Nubi. Okay. But the, the time uh, was short. <laughs> did you finish? No, you didn't finish. No. Wow. <laughs> I gave you two minutes. I know it was just a little time, but then... The purpose is that you practice at least once with your partner, okay? So next time I'm going to give you more time. Okay. 
did you practice at least one time or didn't you finish? Guys? Okay. No? It's a little time, but did you practice? Or More you, time. <laughs> or were you alone? <laughs> Because I don't know if the if your partner didn't join, you might have stayed there by yourself. Well, I'm going to need volunteers. And maybe let's see who is who's really serious. All of you guys are really happy because we're alive. Being grateful is the best thing we can ever do in our life. You know? So let's see. Let's uh, listen to this conversation like one or two times. In this time, you guys are going to say it, okay? So let's see. I'm going to need one boy and one girl. So maybe one boy. Thank you, Blanca. We have Blanquita. This is for girls. And what about um, boys? Any? Boys. Thank you so much. There you go. Three, two, one, action. Sorry, I'm mute. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen I haven't seen you in age. What uh, what have you been doing lately? Nothing excited. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I am saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Well, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job, a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay, thank you so much. Good pronunciation, guys. Appreciate it. We have first participation. And well, that was really good. Let me see, just really quick here. Hey, do you guys feel identified with any of them? No? Do you guys feel identified with any of these? <laughs> or not working in two jobs, maybe saving up money. No, no, nothing similar in your lives. Okay, so let's see. Um, here, graduated. Repeat this word one. This is this pronunciation is gradu graduated. Is the past. Remember, our verb ends with that T. Present T. Okay, graduate. T. Right. So graduate. we say graduated. We graduate. add it because it's T. Graduated. Graduated. Graduate. Modeling. 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 Okay. Pursuing. Pursuing. It means that you are uh, trying to achieve something, uh, fighting, you know, to get something for your objectives. Pursuing. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see. No, that everything was really cool. So I like it. One more participation and then we move on. Who wants to volunteer? Or do you have questions about vocabulary or pronunciation before? Alex, okay, thank you. One more. Me, teacher. All right, thank you so much. Go ahead. Alex, you start. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in age. What, what have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working to yo to yo for the last six months. How come? I'm saving saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I. I've only been spending money. Uh, I am pursuing a full-time mo modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job. I need a job soon. I almost out of money. Good. Thank you so much. 
I'm almost out of money. I'm running out of money. Thank you guys. This time went uh, really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see. I wanted to see something. I remember. Oh, this one. Ages. One. Ages. Exactly. So H is just in singular. But if it is plural, we say ages. ages. I, ages. I haven't seen you in ages. Ages. It means in many, in many years. Ages. Or more. ages. ages. H like one is if it is if it's not the letter S we pronounce it like H right H age. but if it is uh, plural ages just just ages, ages. Ah, okay mm -hmm. okay okay let's move on let's let me see I'm going to share with you now uh, the platform because I want you to listen to one conversation and then tell me about it, okay so. This time we have no scripts, there, there are no lines, so you can read, only listen, okay? And then you tell me what this conversation is about, okay? Pay attention. Part B, listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay. So what about this conversation? What, what about these two people? What have they been doing? Let's talk about Bob first. What has he been doing lately? What did you understand? <clears throat> she has been vacation and travel. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so Bob has been looking a new house. Okay, looking for a new house. Why is he or why has he been looking for a new house? Because, because he's tired because of renting. Exactly. Yeah, right. Thank you so tired much. Because he's tired of renting, right? No more rent. No more renting. Yes, to that's so complicated, right? So, what about the lady? Where or what has she been doing? She has been vacation for north of Italy. Okay, Milan, right? So, and why is she so excited? What did you listen? Do you think she's going to get married? Yes. Did she mention anything like that? No, you didn't listen? Listen again, teacher. Okay, I want to play it again because I want to hear your ideas. Here we go, let me see. Other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation.
No. Okay, so why is she excited? Because she is engaging in this place. You see, she went there and she took advantage of the trip, <laughs> you know, and she met someone and then she's probably, you know, um, taking the next step, right, with that person. Well, that's basically it. And I want to finish this session with the, the next video. I don't know if you have already seen it. If you have seen it, awesome. Because the next one is, it explains the formulas, okay? Okay, let me just display it. Okay, let's see, one second, please. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, here we go. Where is it? There we go. Okay. One second. Let's take a look at the next um, videos because this one explains the formulas and I want you to write some ideas if necessary, okay? Look, this is the formula guys. Uh, we can see it here. Uh, I'm not gonna play the video as of now because we can see it. So it says, I, we, you, and they, we use it with have been plus the very in ing form. For example, we have been working together since last year, okay? So that's exactly what some of you said at the beginning, right? We have uh, I, we, you, they, we have, and then we have third person, which is has, she, it, plus has been, and then our verb in ing form, okay? So the example is, uh, he has been painting his house for two hours, okay? So if you already know this structure, fine. If you still need to confirm it or double check it or practice it, maybe you want to write down some ideas and then you want to create your own examples. Let me see, let me just play it because I want to show you some other information Hi, here. we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of the statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect All right, continuous. All right, let's take a look at this one, guys. It says, this is basically uh, some ideas that we need to go over. Let me ask, let's see, Nuvia, can you help us read uh, these, these light blue letters, okay. the use? Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. Correct. The examples. Mm -hmm. The examples. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Uh, what have you been doing lately? Uh, I've been working good job for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling times I gra graduated, gra graduated. Gra have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending, spending it. Thank you so much. So these are the, the examples that we have been given, mm -hmm. right? With uh, present perfect continuous. Remember, if the action is started in the past and it, and it still has an impact in the present, or if it you know keeps going in the present, the best thing to describe this situation is by using the present perfect continuous. So let's think about all those actions that are started in the past, but it still have an, an impact in the present. And then we want to use this structure. That, that would be the best one. Have plus been plus ing form. Okay. So keep that in mind. And let me just play it. I want to move on. Use the bit. present perfect continuous for actions that start in. I try to move forward and it just didn't work. Hold on, give me, let me, allow me to share once again, this little thing here. <clears throat> so what have you understood so far? 
uh, do you think it's easy to to create example with a present perfect continuous or do you have any comments while i'm trying to display this for you i think it's easy i understand understandable, I understand. understandable. okay so what is any is there any question guys or anybody in here no questions for the moment no sure. okay no questions teacher, teacher yes. when the when the is negative okay Hello? hi Yes, uh, did you say it's the same? We just add, negative. we just add not after the helping verb, which is the which is uh, after have or has. So I can say I have not been having, but, or you can say haven't exactly. If you want to make the contraction, you can say haven't, or you can say hasn't. If it is, if it is okay. uh, third, third person. Take a look at this one. Uh, this is uh, something that I wanted to show you. Present perfect continuous for a continuous or repetitive activity that began in the past and continues into the present, okay? So that's really important to have in mind and clear. And it, it emphasizes the activity itself and its duration, okay? And that's- Present perfect continuous is a tense used for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have, plus subject, plus been, plus verb, plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning? Okay, this is gonna be our last activity. I wanted to get to these three questions, okay? Uh, we have, how long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? And what have you been eating, okay? I'm going to give you uh, three minutes for you to answer these questions, your own information, guys, and then we're going to share it, okay? So take some time and start writing, following the same structure. When you have your answers ready, please let me know on the chat. Miguel, finish. 
Miguel, I have two Miguel, Lara and Ramirez. Did you guys finish the questions? No, yet, did you? Oh, yeah, not yet. Okay, okay. Let's take one more minute. So try to expand on your answers. Okay, we don't have much time, so here, this is how we're going to be sharing. We are uh, 15, so please take advantage of the time, guys. I want you to ask and answer questions, okay? And we're gonna do it in groups. So please take um, the lead and start asking your peers the questions and then be ready to respond within your small groups, okay? Take advantage of the time. I'm going to give you maybe three to five minutes the most, okay? So you can ask and answer questions, these three questions. So here we go, let me see. I'm going to make groups of, of three or four the most. Three, I think, let me see, yeah, three is fine. If, if um, you have any questions, please raise your hand. I'm going to, um, you know, check on your groups. Here we go, ask and answers.
Hello, uh, Nubia. Hello, hello, teacher. What happened? <laughs> uh, I have problems with the internet. Okay, all right, no problem. So the questions, do you have your answers ready? Yes. Okay, so let's do something. Let's. Yes, I, uh, how long have you been? Uh huh. What is? How long have you been studying in English or learning English? Yes. Uh, because I have been. Uh, excuse me. I have been learning English two years. Two years. Ah. Uh, okay. So it's two years. And the second question is. Let me see. Uh, why are you tired? What have you been doing? Because I have been working all the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And what have you been eating? Because I have been cooking for my family. Okay. And what have you been eating? Because I have been cooking for the for my family. Okay, so that's your answer. And anything cooking, special? Cooking, cooking the dinner. Dinner and anything special? Pupusas. Oh, okay. So do you like pupusas? pupusas? What's your favorite one? Yes. What's your favorite pupusas? Yes, I. I, I... Excuse me. What's your favorite one? Uh, I love my I lo favorite cheese. cheese oh, the, the cheese one. Okay, I love. I love cheese. I love the crazy one, la loca, <laughs> 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 the big one. <laughs> you know, yes. once once Very I went. Delicious, to, delicious. Yeah, delicious. once. <laughs> Yeah, once I went to Planet de Rendero and I asked for a pupusa with uh, cheese and avocado. Man, don't do that. Never, ever do that. Horrible. Pupusa with what, avocado? Avocado, yeah, avocado and I, also the avocado with I, I Imagine the, the avocado uh, boiled with, with oil. I was gross. Yeah. But then I wanted to taste. I said, ah, okay, I'm one, I want to see how this is. And then it was, I was, you know, I regret it. I said, hell no, no, I'm not gonna do this again. So, well, guys, um, don't try that. If you haven't, don't don't be that curious. Guys, we didn't, we don't have much time. Maybe we can ask one person to ask anybody the three questions. Who wants to ask them? Maybe Gerardo. Gerardo, ask your okay. peers. Choose one and ask the three <laughs> questions. Uh -huh. Okay, Peter. How long have you been learning English? Who did you ask? Mention one person's name. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have been learning English for 12 months. 12 months. Second question. Okay. For uh, Griselda, mm -hmm. why are you tired? What have you been doing? I've been doing working all day. I've been working all day. <laughs> okay, yes, next in question. The, in the last for a trail, mm -hmm. what have you been eating? Oh, Milton, Kanjura, uh, what sleep. have you been eating? I have been eating a pupusa. <laughs> <laughs> pupusa la loca. <laughs> The crazy one. Okay, guys, thank Peter, you so much. Uh -huh. I am eating uh, beans, beans. Um, cream, and cream. milk. Milk. Okay. Yes. I, I, what do you I, say? I, tamales de lote. Tamalitos. <laughs> 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 you, don't, you, don't, you don't translate that. Tamales is tamales. Yeah. Oh, okay. Join yeah. us, join us, Mike. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> so, so how do you say the the fruit of your I mean, aprovecho, enjoy your meal. <laughs> That's too basic, right? Okay, guys, uh, have a nice night. Uh, see you tomorrow. Try to rest and complete the exercises on the platform, please.
Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Bye bye. 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 B